Before the birth of the Court of Fontaine, there was an empire known as Remuria. But are we getting real war? Remurians believed their king, Remus, would bring eternal prosperity to the islands of the High Sea. However, the God King's seers prophesied discord. The greatest empire will face the most utter destruction. And this is Fortuna. Thus did the God King derive the primordial plan from the cycle of the seven days and winds blowing over sea and land, and composed a splendorous symphony based upon it. He believed that the polities could escape fate's judgment and attain Sorry, eternal talk. paradise I interrupt. if they harmonized Sorry. with his Fuck. perfect symphony. Mm. Yeah, what you said. But mm. today, welcome to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program. Let's take a look at the trailer. Oh my God, so kawaii. On occasion, we hold barbecue dinners at the house. They hunt for food, compete with each other, even cooperate. They enjoy participating in activities like that, and the feeling is mutual. After all, it's always possible certain familiar faces will be missing from the crowd the next time a similar event rolls this around. This new zone actually looks sick. Something has come up, and since it pertains to Cyrus and Sino, I deemed it essential to inform you all. Is it was a great plan shrouded in secrecy. We all gathered around and celebrated the revival of our lord. That's how I gained my power. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project Stusia? Participating in the plan will lose a lot of members in the process. But I did not anticipate we would meet again after presenting you with the Gnosis. If you accept my proposal, Bro, Monsieur like Neville, on, unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within Fontaine. Transfixed! Everlasting as the moon! Oh, that animation is f***ing nuts. The one An angel order thing, man, once given cannot shit. be rescinded. Do you have any idea what you're doing? You're hiding the very person Father has been trying to find. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. God, if Father finds out about that. this, everyone involved is going to be punished. A traitor. Sino was chosen. But he was not the only one. You'd like me to return my power? I'm really looking forward to this right of duels. The wisdom of Hermanubis would have been ours. Well, that NPC actually looks dope. Good for that. I want you to become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have different oh, ideas. Shit looks insane. I'm not saying I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. Your words paint an optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, Helen. You among us are willing to sip from a glass filled with Please. tasty water. We, I'll make sure, it's drained of all impurities and returned to its cleanest form. Good things come to children who do as they're told, so I do hope you decide to tag along. There are many dangers ahead, and I, for one, don't intend to back down. I don't want to disobey an order from Father. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration of loyalty shall go unrewarded, and no sacrifice shall be in vain. Fuck, bro, she's so much better than the base four, man. Shit. Okay. Yeah, she looks dope. Actually, looks dope as. Dun, 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 dun. Hello, everyone. I'm Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of the female traveler Lumine. Welcome yeah. to the Genshin Impact version 4.6 special program. <laughs> Yay! Welcome, everyone! Yay. Yo, yo, welcome! <laughs> Dude, the trailer actually looked pretty cool. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty sure that everyone would agree that the House of the Hearth isn't an ordinary orphanage. But just in case you needed any convincing, we've invited their voice actors to share some information with us today. Bro, how is hey, Lene everyone. the same voice My actor as My name is Erin Yvette. I'm the voice of Arlequino, the father of the House of the Hearth. You might also recall that she's a fatigue. Wait, is there another Edo banner? Nave. Fucking why? I'm so thrilled to have been invited to the special program. <laughs> Legit why? Yeah. Hi, folks. I'm Damon Mills, the voice of Linny, and he's also a member of the House of the Hearth. Yes, he is. Yeah.
And although he's not a member of the House of the Hearth, we've also brought the harbinger of laughter and cheer, the one and only voice of Arataki Ito. <laughs> What up? It's me, Max Middleman. Hey, everybody, what's going on? My bros, my guys, my dudes. Dude, so good. Are you excited to be here? Vibes, vibes, vibes. Vibes for days. All right, well, without any further delay, let's start introducing the new content from version oh, 4.6. I've heard oh, that travelers will be fuck, experiencing new content then. related Holy to shit. the House of the Hearth in the upcoming version. Aaron, why don't you give us a rundown on what Insane. sort of organization the House Actually, of the Hearth is? Yes, it would be my pleasure. Based on the most recent intelligence reports, the House of the Hearth is a Fatui intelligence organization operated by the Knave. Uh, it takes in children who no longer have a home due to all manner of reasons, and they receive an education in a variety of disciplines. Naturally, at the same time as it provides a home, the children also take on various responsibilities. Okay, this sounds like everything that we already know from the game. Uh, is there more news to hear? Yes, everyone knows that the House of the Hearth is a rather complicated orphanage, and the name no, the real, fourth I didn't know that shit. of the Fatui is still hiding many unsolved mysteries. I, I forgot so that shit, to be honest. how about we start diving into all the new information that we have about our Lakino? Yeah. Let's do it! Yes, let's do it! Okay, okay, first, I, I want to hear it straight from y'all. What kind of person do you think the knave is? Oh, no. Oh my gosh, you know what's crazy I'm feeling about a lot of pressure right now. I've been waiting for <laughs> her release since Tower of Fantasy was released. <laughs> um, because they released a trailer the announcing her conquest, all the way back I then. Noticed that our That's Latina how long it's really been. skilled at directing the conversation. Her way of speaking was incredibly refined and polite, but she was also incredibly intimidating. <laughs> I mean, remember how Farina pretended not to recognize her and talked about having nightmares? I totally get where she was coming from. Mm. But... That's just an outsider's point of view, right? <laughs> what is the knave like as a parent? I think Damon is probably the best oh. person to answer that question. <laughs> okay, take it away. <laughs> okay, you were hoping that I would be the weakest link? Yeah. Well, <laughs> she's a very strict father. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. I still don't get why they call her ass um, father. Mm -hmm. All right. She's weird like as fuck. Just say everyone mommy. everyone an intimidating impression. Yeah, but I think Arlequino loves all of the house's children equally, and she would never treat them harshly for what no What do you reason, mean she loves children? The kids feel a lot of pressure during her lessons and are often scared speechless by her stern attitude. It's probably for their own good. In an organization like the Fatui, these kids actually need to be more mature, uh, she tough, what? and patient than other children who are their age, you know? Mm, that's the problem with this whole father though, shit is it? I feel like all the yeah. points are going to be uh, her with food. Her, this knave, I want to know. I'm why not going to fuck with that voice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Are you trying to say that she treats the kids like that because she was traumatized? Ooh, okay. Now that's very sharp of you, oh, no. but let's keep our Lakino secrets hidden for just a little bit longer. Okay, okay. Um, I do have a question, though. Why do the children call her father? Thank you. Ah, well, if you're curious about Arlequino's past, then you'll have to find your answer in the game. That's fair. Her story quest, Ignis Purgatorius, will be released with version 4.6. Now, I don't want to spoil anyone's gameplay experience by saying too much about her quest, okay? But I do hope that travelers will be able to appreciate Arlequino's unique charm after they've experienced her entire story. <laughs> yeah. Version 4.6 will also introduce a new feature, the focused experience mode. Ooh. Now, if you use the feature while playing Arlequino's story quest, uh -huh. then it will minimize the number of times that you'll be interrupted by characters or quest locations being allocated to other quests. Mm. Oh so my god, thank you, dude. Travelers have a better story experience, cool. you know? After nice. three That's fucking right. years, and thank in the you, future, bro. This function will become available for more and more quests. Besides Can you make it to where Paimon is a I've Talk to holy to shit! The Dave's voiceover lines, cause Aaron's kind of awesome. <laughs> we'll finally be able to hear what she thinks about the other Harbingers too. Yes, I selfishly also think that will be cool. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, next, let's take a look at Arlequino's elegant yet deadly fighting style. Ooh. <laughs> Intrigue! <laughs> yeah. Staring into my eyes is ill-advised. I can't promise you'll like what you see. She is fine as fuck, bro. Like, I'll, I'll be real, man. She is so fine, it's unbelievable. Bro, what the fuck? This is where you fall. 
Oh, she's so cool, y'all. Awesome. Yeah, she's got to be OP, right? <laughs> I like how Ooh, she glides. It's not yes, a hyper bloom. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, she's very elegant. Like, that was a perfect descriptor. Like, elegant Ooh. but deadly. Like, a, yes, like a ballerina of death. Yes. Everything she does is so effortless. I know, right? Yes. All right, well, if we're going to talk about Arlequino's combat abilities, then we're going to have to talk about the bond of life mechanics. I'm sorry, bro. You uh, can't you pay me to use a the combo virgin. What the while you fuck is that even made? That shit just sounds Montaigne? dumb as shit. Virgin? Does anyone still remember what a bond of life is? No. Uh, Yo, what, are you going to be teaching us about her abilities? Guys, you're too loud. Pipe uh, down. Bro, I know what she actually said. She should have done the cross leg thing, though. To say. <laughs> Wait, I, I think I remember. It's the red portion of the HP bar. When you have a bond of life active, it'll absorb any healing that your character receives. So they can't regain HP until the bond of life value has been healed. Yeah. Yes. Right? Very good, <laughs> student. <laughs> when Arlen Kino <laughs> has a bond of life greater than or equal to a certain percentage of her health bar, her normal charged and plunging attacks will be converted to pyro damage, which can't be overridden by other elemental infusions. And while she's in this state, okay, her that normal cool. attacks will consume a portion of her current bond of life to deal more damage and reduce the remaining cooldown on her elemental skill. What the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Know, a it's a lot, it's a lot. <laughs> so you're saying that she'll deal more damage with her normal attack when her bond of life is higher? <laughs> Put simply, yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. <laughs> no, wait. I get it. Wait, so uh, Arlequino can give herself a bond of life, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I think so. I mean, otherwise, she'd have to chase down enemies who can put a bond of life on her. <laughs> Actually, that, that sounds kind of funny. <laughs> no, like no, that, that sounds fucking terrible. Uh, and that brings us to our elemental skill. Our Lakino skill doesn't just damage enemies, it also applies a blood debt directive to any enemy that it hits, which will damage them periodically. And when she uses a charged attack or her elemental burst, she'll absorb nearby blood debt directives. This also allows her to obtain a bond of life based on the number of directives that she absorbed. So don't worry, Max. Oh, I was very concerned. <laughs> I know, I know you were. Okay, hold on. She can't regain HP until her bond of life is removed, right? Wait, so she needs to be rolling the shield now. How does she stay in the fight? Well, after dishing out damage, Arlequino's elemental burst will reset the cooldown of her elemental skill and heal her based on her attack and her current bond of life. Oh, okay. Also, thanks to one of her talents, while Arlequino is in combat, she gains bonus pyro damage, but also cannot be affected by any healing effects other than the healing provided by her burst. Bro, that move oh, looks so fucking I mean, that seems like crazy. She's as ruthless to herself yeah, as she yeah. is to her mm. enemies. Like she needs therapy, probably. <laughs> <laughs> She's kind of a savage. I mean, <laughs> um, right. So Arlequino even has a special kind of movement whenever she uses. Man, her I feel charge bad for who town right? man. Ooh, that looks perfect for scaring your enemies. Yes. Yeah. I feel bad for and her, bro. And for putting some serious pressure. Straight on up. Him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucked up, man. <laughs> Uh-huh. Oh, it's about time to introduce the event wishes in version 4.6. You guys ready? Ooh, let's do yeah. it. So exciting. All right. <laughs> During the first phase of version 4.6, Arlequino, the knave, and Linny will both enjoy a drop rate boost. The Linny was cute. The all-new five-star polearm Crimson Moon semblance will also become available. Actually, it looks also, fucking awesome. the Wanderer and Baiju will return in the second phase, so be sure to keep an eye out. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so amazing. <laughs> okay, so Aaron and Damon, do you have any other news you'd like to share? I don't want that filthy <laughs> Actually, dendro characters on my account. Let's discuss the new weekly boss. Oh that's my gosh. right. We were back, back just in my talking day, there were only five elements. Different faces to her family I'll members. I don't need this six element bullshit. But in special circumstances, she will reveal another side. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Are you ready to see a new name? Yes! Bro, she looks so I'm fucking ready. dope. I'm so ready! Wait, so if she's like a big villain, why are we playing as her? I only want to play as a good guy. Oh my god. I can't wait to use one Diona shield and just never take any damage. It's gonna be insane. And I'll be watching. Oh wow! Look at her do her thing. Hold Diona E. God, she looks so fucking hot though. It's unbelievable. Oh 
Oh man, she even got a back tattoo? God damn! Oh, better dodge that. Wow. Not even Linny and Fremenet have seen this side of her before. Mm. So the name is <laughs> accepting insane. challengers. I'm not gonna lie, the boss mm. fight looks oh pretty gosh. shit. She's so elegant. It looks really bad. I'm not gonna lie. Super duper dangerous. But she <laughs> looked cool. It feels even more She looked cool though. Twice yeah, you noticing that, that she's balancing on Ido's <laughs> hair? <laughs> it's not so simple to see the knave's other side. She'll appear normally at first, as if she were giving you an ordinary training lesson, waiting to counter your attacks. Yeah, then she activates yeah, her sexy like mode, dodge all of our attacks, where she can like slice and, and dice. Mm. Yeah, it feels like she's implying that we're all in the palm of her hand. <laughs> I mean, you guys know what her personality's like. She doesn't want her children <laughs> crying or running away from conflict. Instead, she hopes that they'll be able to take the initiative, even if their opponent is their own father. The outside Stop. world will not show her children mommy. mercy, so neither can she afford to be too forgiving to them. Hmm. If you do not repay the blood debt directives the knave applies to you, all her attacks against you will be enhanced. But oh, if you manage to outheal the bond of life, the knave will Is reward you with no for no healer right now? blood debt, and your charged attacks against her will be enhanced. Holy yeah. shit, Lene did a lot of damage. On her back look like oh, spiders. Oh, yo, that's <laughs> cool yes, as fuck. Yes, that's it. <laughs> I like it. Oh my god. Laser like beam. Total control of her prey while she walks. Okay, that looks crazy. Closes the distance. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of creepy yeah, do it again. being the hunted one for once. Send it. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, this move. That shit, that shit looks here. really cool. Let's leave some space for everyone but to it also looks the so ass. themselves. Wait, so I know that many travelers will be wondering about this. The laser the thing was insane, though. is tied to her story quest. Mm -hmm. Normally, I don't know why the fuck she does that, but okay. a certain point in order to participate in the challenge. But now we have a quick challenge feature for weekly Trounce domain bosses. Yeah! Ooh. As long as travelers are adventure rank 40 or higher, they'll be able to challenge her directly by going to the adventurer handbook, going what to is the a domains trounce tab, domain? selecting Trounce domains, and pressing quick challenge. Wow. Oh, that's cool. It's a yeah. nice little shortcut to the battle. Yeah! Oh my gosh, I'm looking forward oh, to that. <laughs> that is really valuable information to have. <laughs> And it also looks like it's uh, my turn to deliver some news. When? Two new artifact sets will become available in version 4.6. Fragment are they good of on Harmonic Lindsay and Unfinished Reverie. Travelers who are interested in them should stay tuned for more information. Cool. Oh, you're finished. Okay, wait, how come your update was so short? It wasn't enough for me. Yeah, give us more. Okay, okay, I actually Ooh. do have other news to share. Ooh. Ooh. I am not yes, far yes, with this. Yes. In version 4.6, Sumeru City will be experiencing an unsolved mystery. Hell no. And for some reason, Sino's gotten mixed up in it. Hey, how did you know about that? What? This picture is Where's the Yule quest? Oh, oh right. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> well, Sino wanted to investigate personally. Can we get Yule? Someone involved in the case has a very unique identity, and the two of them share a close connection. Hey, bro, Sino's story quest made me quit the game. Shenanigans going That's on. right. Is this a case where we Back get to use the Back in 3.0, I quit because it was so bad. Yes. These are all very good guesses, <laughs> but I'll offer you one clue that you probably wouldn't be able to guess otherwise. A mysterious youngster with connections to the mystery will make his debut during the case. Hmm. Bro, and looks like a Sino's four star. friends are not just freeloaders who only show up for food. <laughs> Tainari, Kale, Alhatham, and Kave will all come to support him when he's in a pinch. Tainari? So, yeah, if you want to know more about I thought what his happens ass was in, in jail. Case, then be sure to check out Sino's second story quest, Lupus Arius Act 2. Travelers can venture to Sumeru and investigate the secrets lurking underneath the sands. In due time, of course. <laughs> Sarah, you totally delivered. That was great news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Speaking Bro of great out. news, Ooh. I think Damon also Bro has escaped some prison just like Tartalia. Wait, wait, wait. Really? Wait, yes. wait, wait. What are we wait. waiting for? We've just presented too much information too quickly. Can, can, we, can we take a break, please? Well, so Pie Bond, please, please, oh, please, please, Damon. please. please. I he help. can't keep getting away I with this. <laughs> All right. No, no, Damon, you're right. I know. Let's check out the first redemption code before we continue introducing the new content. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. That's what I thought. Man. <laughs> Man. 
Hey boys, the new code is what tick boom dim bid eight zzzers. That's what tick boom bid eight zzzers. There you go, man. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Maybe we should have just stuck to just the trailers. These voice actors are kind of pissing me off. <laughs> just to be just to be real. <laughs> you know? That's okay though. Our Latino looks really good. No Doom posting yet. Now, they have one story quest and one character. What are we doing for the other six weeks? Let's see. Yo, how good is our Latino? Is she the new best character in the game or no? Is she better hey, than Grimalette? Welcome back, everyone. So hey. we've already told you the story of our Latino and the House of the Hearth. So why don't we continue the story of Remuria, which you saw in the beginning of the program? I would like this very much, please. Yes, you did such <laughs> yes, a good job. Yes. Encore, <laughs> encore. <laughs> a new area of Fontaine will open in version 4.6. Okay. Travelers will get to visit the village of Petricor. Mm. <sighs> Though, would there even be much to see on such a small island? Well, yeah. Damn, that's I actually so pretty. This is, this is where I'm supposed to really confidently say totally. Right? You can go yeah. underground. Okay, now that you've mentioned it, there's definitely more to this village than meets the eye, Underground. Right? Yeah, I think we're focused on the wrong thing here. This is where the kingdom of Remuria's remains lay at rest. So how big was such a glorious Do people still like the swimming really? system? Mm. Oh, well, now that you I was say told that, people I mean, hate this it. little town looks so uh, And they got really bigger. tired of it very now, quickly. that's a neat trick. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> this is where we'll meet a talking cat. With its guidance, we will be able to see the civilization that vanished thousands of years ago. Oh, that's fun! Oh I like my that! Gosh, that's amazing! They, they should do that, that more often, cat. bro. <laughs> As do that Aaron more often. at the beginning of the program, this King area looks Rima's dope. composed a symphony, one with wondrous power that grants the wishes of the human souls dwelling within. Yes, I'm getting it's it. Actually I'm beautiful. getting it. I think I'm, that might be actually I, one of the I favorite songs that they've ever introduced. So not That's okay. I will explain it in a few words. Yeah, that looks really, that so looks you'll really fucking nice. just have to learn about the symphony by going on an adventure with this Damn. little cat. I'll avoid spoiling the adventure itself, but you'll arrive at Damn. the Lemuria ruins with the cat. Damn! The kingdom's that looks good as fuck! In the depths where the sunlight can't reach. You'll meet a dragon in the deep seas. Holy <laughs> shit! So you'll be able to obtain powers relating to the symphony, which will help you explore the lost realm of Remuria. You'll be able to pause the melody within the realm of this ancient civilization. You can also unseal Why don't we just time kill and places where it keep stopped. the fucking so cat. These Am I crazy? powers will let you interact with specific objects in the ruins. You know that might be useful for solving puzzles during your adventure. Totally. Ooh. Meanwhile, a forgotten statue sits in a recess of the faded castle, silently proclaiming the immortality and glory of a great civilization. It awaits a warrior who would dare challenge the majesty of the ancient ruler. Oh yeah, that's right. The statue of marble and brass will soon be coming as a boss. You can earn all sorts of materials if you manage to beat it in a challenge. Yeah. Oh, come on, three I'm heads. so hyped for it. <laughs> oh too. my gosh, yes. And Damon, you did such a great yes, job with introducing it. That was great. <laughs> that was great, yeah. Damon. Wait, but real quick, quick question. Yeah. How do we even get to such a remote little island? Yeah, genuinely, I will come with three heads. Travelers who have already completed the third nothing. act of the Archon Quest, Song of the Dragon and Freedom, will automatically unlock a teleport waypoint in the village of Petricor. Ah. Hopefully this helps travelers with exploring the new area. I've heard that this feature will return for many new areas in the future. Uh, so exciting. I know. So cool. All right. That's cool. That's all the information that we have about Fontaine for now. And now, outside of the region, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. It seems like a new style of rock and roll is getting popular in Inazuma. <gasps> rock and roll. God, yeah! good God, please do not show all right, me Zinyan. Let's all take a short break before we get into the next section. Take a look at today's second redemption code. Yeah. All right. Oh. Already, huh? Welcome back, everyone. Hey. <laughs> Okay, I hear that a musical tour is coming to Inazuma, and oh, the God. organizer is none other than Arataki Ito himself. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Max, would you oh, like no. to tell us more about it? Oh, it no. would be my absolute pleasure, compadre. So I got a question. Does everyone still remember Dvorak? Mm -hmm. um... Of course. 
He participated in last year's Lantern Rite, mm -hmm. right? That's oh, right, yeah. Both Hu Tao and Xin Yen performed mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. That's Ooh. right, and this time, it's an epic tour for the ages, organized by none other than Ito and Dvorak. Oh, oh my gosh, and even the concert name sounds really epic. Yeah. Yo, yes. tell me Dvorak no, ain't a random NPC. Your Arataki rockin' for life tour to force of awesomeness really gives off the feeling of rock and roll. Wow. <laughs> and the theme of this concert is about life. Specifically, it's about a brave puppy who saved the lives of countless other creatures on the battlefield. It's sad. That's so cute. Adorable. I'm really yeah. looking forward to yeah. it. Yeah, me too. I really hope the Music Festival of Life will inspire everyone to unleash their own rock and roll spirit. Yeah. And I'll let you in on a little secret. Ito himself will personally be performing on the big stage. <gasps> what? Oh, oh my gosh, God. that's gonna be awesome. Nice. Yes, it will be. And here's more exclusive news for you. Yeah. Dvorak will be giving away a brand new musical instrument to our travelers called the Nightwind Horn. Ooh. Ooh. So if you Ooh. enjoy playing music in real life, or especially if you enjoy playing music in the game, be sure to check it out. I'm looking forward to seeing more amazing performances from all the great uh, musicians out there. Are you now? Well, since you're so excited about it and the festival, why don't you help launch the Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness? Yeah, I'll try to. <laughs> All right, there's three steps to preparing for the festival. Number one, extreme carnival ensemble. We can practice getting into the flow with some rhythm games while the stage is still coming together. Wow, those keys look really unique. Yeah, they really are. And the second task is called the Trillion okay. Trinket Trawl. Mm. Say that three times fast. The Trillion Trinket Trawl, the Trillion Trinket Trawl, the Trillion Trinket Trawl. I did it. Ooh. We can't have <laughs> a rockin' music festival without a rockin' venue. So, Travelers right. will be helping Dvorak spruce it up with his list of items. It's a piece of cake, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And lastly, <laughs> we have the Meeting of Melodies. Can't have a party without adoring fans, so we gotta invite fellow music lovers to come jam with us. After listening to their tunes, we can. Man, we gotta beg people to go, notes. man! Holy oh, shit! So we'll be able to hear them sing. That is super exciting. We gotta yeah. beg? Yes, that's the point. Music gets you pumped. And after we've rocked nah. out to the pure spirit of music awesomeness in Inazuma over in Mondstadt, we'll be dancing to a tense and thrilling tune. <gasps> hold up, hold up. Ooh. What do you mean by tense and thrilling? Does it mean anything if I say. Wind Trace, Seekers and Strategy has finally arrived. What? Yes! I love Wind Trace. Is this the pop-up one? Yeah, it can get a little tense at times. <laughs> well, the, the new name implies that the game has undergone some mechanics changes, yeah? Yeah, you're correct. That's very intuitive of you. Thank yeah, you. you'll be playing hide and seek as rebels and hunters, just like before, but there are a few new rules. Ooh. Yeah, when rebels are captured for the first time, they'll be exiled to the surveillance zone for a short period of time. I will say, the wind trace now, is actually pretty fun. They will be automatically freed after their time I wish out, they would just keep it as a permanent game mode and then apply the updates the to it every now and then. But if you get it's set probably to one of the twice, better mini games that uh, Gadget offers. It is pretty game. fun. <gasps> oh, that does sound tense and thrilling. <laughs> right? And that's not all. Oh no, each round will have six signaling devices, which will prevent nearby rebels from disguising or concealing themselves. The rebels' goal is to repair these devices while also avoiding capture. Once they repair four devices, they win Wait. the match. This oh, is literally dead together by together to repair these devices. <laughs> what the and fuck? hunters will either need to prevent they just the rebels stole from repairing dead by daylight? devices or they can simply eliminate their opponents. Wow. If you team up with friends, then watching these games should be a blast. <laughs> ah, she gets it. She gets it. But the next part is even more thrilling. When rebels are fixing a signaling device, the device being repaired will enter the high speed signaling state. What does it mean? It means it'll give off a light visible by every player in the area. In fact, the device will even be marked on the minimap. Ooh, okay. So that means that repairing the device. How the fuck are they gonna get away from that? Oh, oh my gosh. How are they <laughs> gonna get away? These sort of unexpected He's dead. Risks, He's dead. Be the most He's dead. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be super Ooh, interesting. Ooh, see, it yeah. wasn't yeah. worth. No, oh, absolutely. Was not worth. And in another event, travelers will receive. A rather strange commission. Ooh. What do you mean, rather strange? Yeah, this is the Chinese mobile the version of Dead is, by Daylight. There's a chef who's famous for using unusual ingredients, and he wants to make friends with a pyro regisfine. Oh, God, I do uh, not want to be friends with this oh fucking yeah. random dumb fuck. And not just a pyro regisfine, he also wants to befriend a primo geovision. We do not care. A jade plume terror shroom, and the millennial pearl seahorse. Huh? Uh, you guys heard me the first time. <laughs> 
Yeah, I thought you would react this way. Anyway, a chef recently returned from a trip to Natlon, and he started getting some ideas. He thought he should toughen himself Why did they up just use having his own companion. You know, just like how people from Natlon have Saurian companions. We already have that a cook. Makes sense. Why are we talking to a random NPC? Wait, did you say that he came back from Natlon? Listen, listen, Damon. If you want to okay, know the details, okay. go check out the event <laughs> when the virgin is I'm live, sorry. all right? But for now, it's time for me to introduce the gameplay. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Okay, here you go. All right, you got it. <laughs> you got In it. In this challenge, you can adjust the difficulty and your negotiation strategies. If okay. you've got the guts, then you can take on fearless difficulty. Oh. You can also talk to Ranjit to adjust the number of negotiation strategies. So if you reduce them, it amps up the challenge difficulty, giving you the perfect opportunity to test your skills. Cool. Both active strategies and long-term strategies are available. You can trigger active strategies at will. However, Ain't no your opponent's shot, bro. HP Team is and using level no will change well. depending on the number of strategies that Ooh, you've picked. Ooh, hmm. that's cool. So, yeah. Who so the fuck is using no well in 2024? To come out on top. Play to your strengths. Wow. Noted. And moving on, travelers should be familiar with our next event, Vibro Crystal Applications. Ooh, it seems like the event involves connecting different vibrating crystals in order to generate different effects. Mr. Pokey, guys, I'll yeah, be real. I'm Mr. Pokey so already quit Genshin Impact. You are. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> that is so much incredible. <laughs> he already yeah, quit, well, and you I keep coping it. and say he's each a mid picker now, but requires two teams. He already Before quit, guys. Before each battle, you can set up Vibro Crystal Harmonics plans for each of your teams. This will allow you to receive different combat buffs when you combine transmitter crystals and receiver crystals. Bro just crystals. did not equip a healer. Basically, the transmitter crystal decides the trigger condition, while the receiver crystal determines the buff that your team gets as a result. By your connecting them in different crystal. combinations, you can create varying harmonic effects. It's your custom buff plan. Wow. Spot on, Saramela Cruz. Thank That's you. Cool. <laughs> you gain a harmonic point for each time that you trigger a harmonic effect. You can get even more combat bonuses if you accumulate enough harmonic points. Each yeah, the mini games and events actually are pretty good this patch too. So you can choose the harmonic buff that works best for your team setup. Nice. Be sure to maximize your points if you want to exchange them for rewards. Maximize. Nice. Also, the Genius Invocation TCG event, The Forge Realms Temper, will be returning in version 4.6. Yes. The heated battle mode will also receive an update. So we, don't we do miss not out, care. <laughs> And there's gonna be an overflowing mastery event, so you can more easily train up the characters who need the extra boosty boost. This, this should also <laughs> oh be gosh, every thank weekend. Thank you so much, Max. You just did an amazing yes, job. That was impressive. Thank you, Sarah. Mm -hmm. oh, and thanks, guys. Yeah. Since you introduced this should not be an so event. It should just be, should just be a reoccurring I feel weekend like thing. You deserve a little break. I you know what? Oh. I, yes, you agree? I was gonna well, say I, I agree, agree too. I agree. <laughs> so how about now, let's check out the the, the last, last redemption, redemption code. code. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all things considered, uh, I don't think the patch looks that bad. It's got a new character, new story quest, new zone. Uh, the events look pretty all right. I'd rather a rerun event than a shitty new one. So, is what it is. It all depends how uh, how good the Arlecchino quest is. I am curious how it's not an Archon quest. I feel like Arlecchino is an important enough character where it should have been on the Archon quest. But I, I guess not. It's okay, a few days gone at least. Yeah, it's probably like two days. Welcome three days. back, everyone. Next up, we're presenting some information about improvements for different in-game systems. Nice. Okay. First ah. up, we have some updates for the Serena teapot, such as the quick obtain feature. Instead of having to navigate a bunch of menus, you can use this feature to put all missing furnishings into a queue, where you can use one click to purchase any missing components and then craft your desired piece. Wow. Ooh, oh, okay. that does actually sound very convenient. So convenient. <laughs> so convenient. How about we just raise the, the load limit so players can decorate updated, more? updated, so you'll be able to use more portraits of your familiar friends as your profile <laughs> display. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that mask is Hanachiru Sato, isn't it? Mm hmm. Oh, and there's Arama. You bet. And the Thunderbird, uh -huh. and Rue, uh -huh. oh, and more. This is amazing. So <laughs> many more. I'm sure lots of travelers like them. Treasure compasses have also been updated. Its markers will be displayed on both the large map and the mini map. The compasses will also include information about different map layers. Sweet. Oh, that's way more yeah. intuitive. Mm -hmm. It's time to eradicate all the maps with 99% exploration progress. Heck yeah! yeah. 
Exploration! <laughs> Eradication! <laughs> yes. Now that we've gone over some updates to the game systems, it's time to talk about some Genshin Impact soundtrack news. <laughs> Let's go, music! Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Genshin Impact's third Fontaine OST, Cantus Eternus, will debut during version 4.6. This album features original music created by the Hoyo Mix team for the new region of Fontaine and related content. Ooh, yeah. yes. <laughs> music is my favorite. So hyped. <laughs> oh, no, y'all. It looks like there's nothing left for us to present. <gasps> Wait, what? I know, yes. I know. So I think that means it's time for this special program to come to a close. <gasps> it's not so, one teaser. Is there anything else that y'all would like to share with so the travelers who are watching? Yes. Uh, what? Uh, we need to have Vin answer right now in this moment. Show now. Uh, it's okay. You've got now. this. Okay. You've got this. Uh, okay. Do Genshin okay. players not get the free temple? Um, be very selfish and say that I'm just so incredibly excited for our Lakino. They don't um, get the free temple? We did, we did a lot really? of work with her. I think she's really cool, and I can't wait for everyone else to see how cool she is. Yay! She's so oh, cool. Oh, totally. She's so freaking cool, and I love the whole quest and everything secret that I can't talk about right now. <laughs> but I am also really excited for that and Linny's involvement in said things, mm. and that's all I'm going to say right now, guys. Yeah, it's Yay. so hard to talk about this without spoiling anything, but I'm so, so excited for you guys to experience this concert. It is so good, and all I can say is that I had more fun recording for this uh, part of, of Genshin Impact than I've had in a long time recording. So, oh, um, oh my gosh, it's gonna that's be fun. amazing. <laughs> Wow, I'm excited for all of those things too. And I'm also really Surely excited there's a for the Wind Trace Festival because I love it so much. <laughs> and it sounds like there's. I mean, I'll be real. I'll be doing zero of, awesome of the events. coming in version 4.6. So I hope Seriously. everyone's excited. Yes, yes I am. Yeah. Yay! Wow, okay. I just have to say, this was so fun being here with you today. I'm so glad I got to be here with you guys. It's just such a great time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so thanks for being here. And I think that's all we've got for this program. So Bad we one. will see you all in game. See you guys Bye. in the game. Bye. 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 Love you. Bye. That one. That one teaser. Nah, Cap. Cap. Don't show at the end. Cap. 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 100% Cap. Cap. Cap, fade to black. Fade to black. Nah, 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 nah. No shot. No shot. No shot. Ooh. Man, that's rough. That is rough. Uh, okay. Uh, genuine opinions. I think Arla Chino looks great. I do. Am I going to see Sixer? No. May I pull for, I might pull for one copy. Yeah, I might, I might get one copy. Yeah, I, uh, I think that Arla Chino looks good. I think her main boss version looks good. Uh, I think the story quest will probably be pretty good. Sinnoh's story quest I don't really care about at all. I won't be doing that. But I think I will be going back to Genshin just to try Arla Chino and her story quest because I am genuinely curious. Which means before 4.6 comes out, oh, I got a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of catching up to do. So we'll probably bang all that out in one stream. That's going to be rough. Um, yeah, uh, the events, the events look okay. You know, the wind trace events will be probably pretty fun as they usually are. I don't plan on doing any of them. Yeah, I don't, I don't plan on doing any of them. Uh, but yeah, I probably will be going back for 4.6 just to see how it is. Uh, I even downloaded Genshin Impact, guys. Yep, I downloaded Genshin Impact. I need to do the 4.2 story quest. I, I do have the game downloaded. So we'll, we'll be... How long is the 4.2 story quest? Do I have a lot of grinding to do? Like, is there... Like, like how long? Like five hours? And then after 4.2, 4.3, 4.4, 4.5, none of that shit matters, right? Because I haven't heard anybody talk about that shit, right? Like 4.2 is the only thing that matters, right? Yeah. Okay, so then I'll just do 4.2 and then nothing else matters. 4.2 was a prison. Nah, there's no way, right? Okay. All right. Well, yeah. I feel like the uh, the new update looks pretty okay. Yeah, I mean, there, there's probably some good aspects of it. 
But uh, yeah, I think it would be cool to figure out who Arlecchino is. I've been waiting for this character for like well over two years. So let's see what she's all about, man. I mean, hopefully, hopefully it's good. You know, ho hopefully it's good. Hopefully it makes everybody happy. I mean, I don't really see any way how they f this up. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, anyways, appreciate y'all watching. Catch you on the next one. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Peace, boys.